Hello there, let's see how Motion Blur works in Plexus 3. Here I have a basic composition with some uh, Plexus animation and it. it's fairly basic. Uh, what I did is I had a sphere, I had a basic sphere and I added some noise to it and then I added some lines. And then I created a camera and I just zoomed in a little bit so it kind of gives us a tally effect. And now to add motion blur, uh, this is a good case where motion blur uh, kind of gives a cinematic effect. So to add motion blur, I could do it in two ways. Uh, the first way is to set the motion blur uh, to comp settings. So what that does is after uh, Plexus looks at After Effects current composition, and if motion blur is turned on in that composition, uh, Plexus renders motion blur too. And to do that, make sure to go to your timeline, select the motion blur switch here, and also enable motion blur for the current composition. Now you see that uh, Lexus uh, rendered motion blur right away. And you could obviously change the, if you want to change the shutter values and stuff, you go to composition settings and uh, change the shutter angles here, etc. And if you have a lot of motion, sometimes it gets really jagged here, kind of, you see, kind of um, uh, aliasing. So you can do a few things. First of all, you can increase the number of samples. You can change it. You can increase the motion blur samples to 24 or 32 or any number you want. What this does is it, the higher the sample is, the more number of sample, the more number of times Plexus goes through the current timeline and gets uh, these many samples. So the higher it is, the more number of samples it gets over time. So if you have a lot of uh, OBJ files or sound sound effectors, it can get a little slow. So kind of make sure make sure to choose the right value by playing around with it a little bit. And the higher you have, the more smoother the blur looks. Just to keep that in mind. And many times, if you're in a composition, you want uh, you want to have different motion blur values for different layers so you can do that too instead of relying on the current composition you can just change the motion blur to custom and what this means is you could set custom uh, shutter values for each layer so you could crank it up to uh, really high if you want or really low and the rest of the composition is not affected by it. only that particular layer uh, takes the values now Likewise, you could um, in increase the samples here to get a smoother blur. And just to, uh, the higher the samples you have, uh, the smoother it'll look. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to put it back to 16. Now, you can also have depth of field along with uh, motion blur. So let me go ahead and turn on the depth of field. And you can see it can get really. Uh, uh, jaggy here. So do if you have depth of field and motion blur on our only depth of field, the best way to uh, get better quality is to change the uh, render quality here. Uh, if you have like 4x or something, you can get really uh, smooth. You can go higher if you want. Just remember the higher you go, the slower it'll get. But you get really uh, nice uh, depth of field and motion blur effects here. So that's just how uh, motion blur works in Plexus 3. Um, hope you guys like it. Thank you.